Hi friends, welcome to my channel. So this series is about uh, upgrading Splunk. So in my previous video, I uh, covered uh, one of the part of uh, discovery, uh, discovering of uh, Splunk environment, where I explained about uh, before upgrading the environment, Splunk environment, we need to find uh, is it a standalone uh, deployment or distributed or cluster environment? or multi-cluster environment so we, i have talked uh, detailed about it uh, if you have not seen that video i request you to see that vi video before starting this now uh, in this part uh, in this part of video i am going to uh, uh, explain you about uh, splunk asset inventory and version of a splunk component how to get uh, get that and uh, uh, application and add-on inventory and version of uh, it so we will talk about uh, in detail uh, in this environment how can we create uh, uh, inventory uh, for uh, Splunk what all servers are there and how how to uh, create an inventory sheet plus the application and add-on inventory so uh, this this video uh, for for the guys who already worked on Splunk or uh, upgraded this this is not for them this is video is uh, uh, purely uh, the person for uh, who has not done any uh, upgrade or they are new to it so they can uh, get it easily so it will be a very a very basic level of uh, uh, video basic level of uh, setting so anybody can can uh, get it from there so like uh, let me show you how can uh, how can we uh, get the inventory sheet so first of all we like it's very simple excel sheet will be there where first we will provide a serial number any any excel format you can even uh, like any excel sheet or uh, i am using uh, mac os so i'm using it uh, so you can use ms uh, ms excel or any any other thing so first will be the serial number next second one server name server name third will be the server ip then fourth will be the splunk role and splunk world version so this this header minimum this header should be there so i'll make it bold now uh as i mentioned you in the previous video uh if it is distributed environment we we upgrade first all the masters in the masters uh, we upgrade a cluster master first so uh my recommendation is uh create a excel sheet in the form of uh, in the sequence where we are going to splunk uh upgrade this plunk so let's say you are Server server name can be SPLK hyphen CM. The IP address ten dot zero dot zero dot one. Splunk role cluster master and version. Let's say it has six dot two dot. 6.2.0 0 but uh, very older version so i will go to 6.0.0 so this is an example the, these details you have to put whatever they are in your environment so i will put let's say uh, license master and 
लाइसेंस मास्टर सो दीज दीज वर्जन कैन बी सेम सिमिलर और डिफरेंट इन योर एनवायरमेंट सो बी केयरफुल apply those uh, those parameters whichever there and and also it it can be possible um, there is a overlap between these uh, these roles so there can be a one server having multiple roles like uh, cluster master can have license master and few other details so uh, like uh, as per the best uh, practice uh, we should not have a uh, multiple role for uh, like say one one server so but but with few caveats we we can have uh multiple role for one splunk component one splunk server so next will be deployment server ds 0. again i am doing the mistake here deployment server zero dot i am considering here uh, your present environment has all the all the component on the same version so deployment server then search at deployer so i will put deploy here same version now what next uh it will be license master is done this is monitoring console so splk monitoring console money so it will be the same version likewise uh, if it is a, a search at cluster environment definitely there will be a three cluster minimum should be three three cluster 0 1 i will put ss 0 1 2 3 so it will be uh, sorry ip address and uh, search search head one search head two search head three and the version is same now it can be a multiple indexers so splk01 idx01 and there can be a 10 and 1000 multiple indexer and similarly indexer 01 and the version now let's come to forwarders if you want you can create a, a forward inventory forwarder inventory here if you want to uh, make it separate you can do it but these are the main inventory where you need to uh play for uh, like uh, major attention over here so uh, 0 1 0 2 or maybe multiple so i will put 21 22 23 24 from here i put 21 22 23 this is heavy forwarders heavy forwarder 
and the version can be a similar or different so recommendation is you keep your uh, splunk version as similar as possible okay so then there can be a couple of uh, ufs splk splk uf 01 there can be multiple there will be n number of uf so that is depends if you want to uh, again uh, if you want to include a uf uh, upgrade in same uh, activity because uf upgrade will be a, a bigger activity so but that will take time so you need versal forwarder forwarder zero one and similarly this has to be changed so this will become your inventory so this is this will become your server uh, Splunk server inventory and uh, you can put it in your CRQ or anywhere where, wherever you want you can um, like share it with your management share it to your manager or how and like accordingly you can decide a time and everything how much time you will take to uh, uh, like say upgrade one to another so this is the basic thing where you can create your inventory now you can also you need to uh, create inventory for your application for each uh, uh, component like uh, a major component of application upgrade will be uh, search head and uh, indexer and forwarders so here most of the applications and add-ons will be there so that will be the major part so cm like license manager and these uh, can be like the we 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 uh, should upgrade the app, apps on the that on those uh, components as well but uh, the majority part will be the search head indexers heavy forwarder and user forwarder so make another excel sheet where if like say you can put uh, search as 01 or search head cluster or s sh only then create one more idx what all applications are there in idx then hfs so uh, almost it, uh, there will be a uh, definitely on the uh, sh and uh, idx indexers there will be a common applications and add-ons and on hf there can be uh, add-ons uh, push from deployers and locally uh, somebody can locally install over install over there so uh, from uh, search its perspective i will tell you how to create uh, again serial number and all it's very uh, simple thing if you want you can skip uh, you can fast forward this step this time creating them app name app slash add on name version yeah so that's a simple simple one so now how to get the version i'll let me explain that so suppose this is uh, your search head where it is this is your search head now from search head you go to apps manage apps like uh, if you have this you can go from drop down as well apps manage apps so here you can see like uh, and uh, you can see over here the application name so you need to just copy application name from search head to your uh, excel sheet where it is put it over here and just simple this is very simple way that there, there are uh, a uh, couple of ways are there where you can uh, write down a search and get all the details but this is i am showing very simplest one
uh, this is the one if you can see it is asking for update as well so uh, that means we have the newer version of uh, uh, es content updates so similarly sim you have this and so on you can create uh, you can create uh, inventory for this so so by doing this what is the advantage of it first of all we will get to know how many applications are there we need to upgrade and uh, how many applications already uh, installed and second we will check the compatibility of present uh, present uh, applications installed on, on each component and uh, like say the newer version of his plan so like say I will check if uh, ES content update is compatible this version of ES con content update is compatible with the with the the core Splunk which we are going to upgrade so I will tell you detail in in the next videos so this this is very basic basic video where I'm explaining from the scratch I'm again and again telling if you are the expert you have already done so this this is this video is not for you uh, the video this video is purely for the people who are new to the environment new to the Splunk and uh, yeah so uh, I have created this list for uh, search it so similarly like uh, search it means the similar same kind of app will be there in on search it one search it two like this search it one search it two search it three so all the apps will be there zero one you can if you want you can mention like zero one zero two like this and you just copy paste this app now second component will be uh, indexer so generally the indexer ui will be uh, uh, GUI will be uh, disabled so what you need to do you need to go, go to uh, cluster master go to opt directory name I'm saying go to opt splunk hc master hyphen apps so here all the apps will be there and you need to find out the version uh, from the app uh, local app.com file and you need to list down all the apps similar to uh, this once you have this you will be ready with the, the similar app will be not there uh, will not be there i say es content is purely for search it so please note down this path i'm going to delete it and it so the apps can be different like say uh, some add-ons generally the add-ons will be there where the parsing happens on index cluster so this and then finally uh, hf hf will be similar uh, uh, similar as uh, uh, search it where where i just copy paste from uh, the managed app uh, section so it will be similar remember the app will be different on each each of the role it won't be similar but the on the cluster nodes the apps will be similar to throughout all the cluster members uh, so i guess that's it about about uh, uh, this lecture so hope you you are gaining something about uh, upgrading the environment so uh, in the next uh, uh, lecture or next session I will cover about uh, how the compatibility and everything works for the compatibility matrix for uh, for Splunk to Splunk and Splunk to uh, UF or, or and between the uh, Splunk applications so thanks for watching the video and have a nice day